Happy Kitty Kitchen. <laughs> What's up, Felicia Gang? How y'all doing? Everybody, how are y'all doing? It with Philly Bill Gang. EWTTG. Hey guys, let's get ready to um, put everything together. I wanted to show you all what we have. We have our flank steak that I bought at Kroger's. Guys, this flank steak was $32. Whew, it better be good. I bet I messed this up. Gonna need some garlic, ginger, uh, brown sugar. Then I got my different color bell peppers, orange, red, green, and yellow. You don't have to use all these colors, but you know I like them. Onion, uh, cornstarch, soy sauce, and you're gonna need some cooking oil. And then I have my seasonings that I, I'm going to use, and I will be putting everything in the description box, all right? All right, let me prep up, and I'll be okay. back, guys. I am back. I have our bell peppers and onion all cut up there, looking really good. Okay, got our steak, nice, my hands are clean. I cut it about this size. Okay, that's some, that's some good looking steak, I tell you guys. Our garlic and um, ginger chopped up here. Then this is the, all the measurements in the description box, okay? Now, it just says, uh, use salt and pepper, but you know your girl's gonna use her seasoning, so I'm about to mix these up, get all the seasoning mix here, and we won't pour all of it on the meat, but you know, you want you a good little flavor here. You want you some, at least I do. Okay, I'm gonna start with a half a teaspoon of gar um, garlic powder. Okay, half a teaspoon of onion, pow onion powder. Can't talk tonight. Half a teaspoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. You know, just my regular, just the regulars, you know, they hang around the kitchen all the time. <laughs> they be hanging around the Italians, no, the basil. Okay, now I want a teaspoon of parsley instead of a half a teaspoon. And a teaspoon of the steak seasoning, which has salt in it. We want our meat to be seasoned. Actually, I'm gonna do two teaspoons. And then a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, we're just mixing our, come out of there. Okay, and then a dash of cayenne pepper, okay? Optional. All right. So then you're just gonna mix this up. And then when we start cooking the meat, we, we won't put all of this on it, but we're going to use some of it, you know, and you can use whatever you want. You know, you may not want all of these seasonings. That's why I say it's optional. Okay. All right. Now let's get ready to start cooking in the kitchen. Oh, you know, we sip it too. Get your drinks ready. All right. All right, guys, I have it on medium high. I'm going to add a teaspoon of the oil. Okay. And let it heat up a little bit. And then we're going to start off cooking our peppers all right peppers and onion so we're going to start we're going to let this heat up in our nice warmth that she radiance bought me yes 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 it's nice all right let that heat up I'm gonna add the peppers. Cook them for about four to five minutes. You want them to have a little bite, but I don't want them to be too crunchy. You know, I sort of like mine's to be, you know, they can be caramelized as far as I'm concerned, but I know the traditional pepper steak, they normally have a good bite to them. Then we're gonna take those out, and then we will put the steak in and cut it up, cut it up to high. And what I did with the steak, guys, I put four teaspoons of that seasoning uh, that I put together I mix that on the steak, okay? All right, let's put our veggies in there. Let them start cooking up. Put all of them in there. All right, look at that pretty, look at that color. Okay. 
Okay, about just about four to five minutes. A teaspoon of oil in here. That's all you need. And I don't know, you know, <laughs> I don't know, what do y'all think? How do y'all, what do you think about the cut of the peppers? They look okay? going to be a pretty and colorful, colorful dish. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out now. We'll be putting them back in later. Okay, now we're going to add the rest of that tablespoon of oil we had. Okay. Then you turn the heat up to high now because we're going to go ahead and put the steak in here, okay? Now so let this cook for about five to six minutes until it's nice and brown. Then once this cooks for about five to six minutes until it gets nice and brown like it's good, you see? Then we will add the garlic and the ginger and let that cook for 30 seconds. Okay? What do y'all think about the cut? Is it thin enough? Or do you think it's too thick? I definitely want all the red out. My child likes it. Say medium rare. What? <laughs> Oh, this rock. I love this rock. It makes cooking Asian too green. Chinese too green. So much easier. I want all of me to be brown. Some of it's still red, so. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our ginger and our garlic. Let that cook for about 30 seconds together. Let me make sure everything's brown here, all the meat. That look brown to you guys, what do you think? You see that basil and Italian seasoning and parsley all in there. Okay, let's add our garlic and ginger. Let that cook together for about 30 seconds or so. You know, or a minute. You know, it's totally up to you. Just let it 
the flavors married together. Then we're going to get ready to add our pepper. Okay? All right, let's add the peppers back. Now what we're gonna do is add our sauce that we put together, okay? Then we're gonna let it cook for about two or three minutes or until the sauce thickens. Now we're gonna let this cook. Look at that little pepper steak. Mm -mm. Let this cook for a while. Let the sauce get nice and thick, okay? Okay, guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? That's one pretty dish. All right. When I come back, I'm going to let this cook for about four to five minutes, guys. I want it to get nice and thick. And we'll sit down, eat, chit chat. You know what we do. See y'all in a little bit. Look at it. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. Okay, dinner is done. Let's bless this food, y'all. It smells so good. Bless this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. Okay, your girl did it. Look at this. Look at this beautiful dish. <laughs> yes. Isn't it pretty? Mm, mm, mm. I just got to let y'all look at it. Look at that. Okay. So we have stir-fried pepper steak. I use blank steak. It's expensive, but this steak, I had to taste a piece. It tastes so good. We have some steamed white rice. Then all of our different color peppers. Okay, let me just taste it. Mmm. I had to bring this to the table. Thick soy sauce, I bought this at the Korean grocery store. I put a fourth a cup of regular soy sauce and then a teaspoon of this. This stuff, I'm telling you, it made it. Mm, mm, mm. This sauce is so good, guys. It tastes, hey, tastes like you're at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Look at this. Only thing I needed was some sesame seeds to top it with. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That's sauce. It's like a nice gravy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. So what did y'all cook tonight? I hope you're eating something as good as this tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Cause when I tell you it's good. Mm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. And it's pretty. So, I put together the dry rub or the uh, seasoning mix, whatever you want to call it. I like some pepper on my face. Mm. And I put four teaspoons of that over the meat before I put it in the, I know this table still. I'm gonna get this table secure, guys. Mm. Mm. These onions, oh wait. So, four teaspoons of the seasoning mix. And if you want to use some different seasonings on your meat, you can. But just salt and pepper, mm -mm. it would not have been this tasty with just salt and pepper. I know it. 
that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got my chopsticks. Mm-hmm. I taste the ginger. Mm. Yep, this is a good meal. So, I know like my big brother Lou, he don't want to go to the, out to eat at the Chinese restaurant right now. Have Harvey to cook you some of this right here, big Lou. She can do it. Mmm. <laughs> Cause they love Chinese. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so good, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I should have put some of that sauce over this rice. Mm -hmm. mm. So what's going on? How is everyone? How are y'all doing? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wednesday, it's in the books pretty much. <laughs> mm. so, the weekend is right around the corner. Mm. Oh, that's good. So what do y'all think about the cut of the meat? Is it too thick? Mm. It's okay to me. But you could always cut it up in smaller pieces. It's your stir fry. Do whatever you want. Mm. So we had Taco Tuesday, but we had some beef empanadas made in the form of um, egg rolls, and they were delicious. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. And I love these onions and oh goodness. You know what? I may have to get my fork. I brought that just in case if I wanted to get a big bite. Some of this sauce on here on this rice. Mm. Look at that, guys. Look at that. My pepper fell. Who wanted it? Mmm. 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 Oh, this is good. Mmm. 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 The pepper keep falling. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, indeed. Mm. Yep. That wasn't hard, guys. And it came out good. I mean, the gravy, what well, a gravy, the sauce. It's that thick, it's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. Only two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. have, have you all ever made stir fried steak before? It was my first time. Mm-hmm. First time for everything, though. When you, whenever I would go to the buffets, I would always get some, put on my plate, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm Maybe next time I cut all the steak about this size. 
but it's okay to me. As long as it tastes good. Okay. Hmm. I put a lot on here. I wanted the plate to look good, but I'm not gonna, I can't eat all of that. Get me one more good bite. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm, I taste that ginger. Mm, mm, mm. It was definitely good, guys. Look at that. Y'all see that sauce? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to put the descript of the um recipe in the description. This is a good um ingredient to add to a thick soy sauce. Use the regular soy sauce as well, but add on just a little bit of this. You can add that to pretty much anything that you're cooking with a dark sauce. All right, guys, let me get cleaned up a little bit and I'll come back and read us some comments. All right, I may get me another pickle. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see what you guys have to say about the beef empanada egg rolls. They were so good. All right, pumpkin pie. Doing the dang thing. Go, girl, that looks delicious. Wish I was there. God bless you. Okay, you too. SMB 770. Hey, lady. Hey, my favorite southern cooking lady that crunch sounds good and it's making me hungry at 2 38 in the morning i gotta try those i wish i could have bit that that through the screen though laugh out loud as always keep on cooking in the kitchen philly Phil. you know i will lsm boutique how you doing 19 hours ago all right hey philly Phil. wow that looks delicious a must try i have been busy but i always have to come to see what you are cooking oh my 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 i love this thank you don't forget about me. Keep coming back. Uh, Angel Gemini. Hey, Philly Phil. I'm so annoyed that YouTube never gave me my notifications when you're posting. I had to type you in to see if see that you had a new video. But I'm going to keep watching and keep keep cooking. Stay blessed. Keep. She's going to keep looking. Did you hit the button and hit all? And then um, it'll email you and let you know it'll pop up. That's weird. I need you to get those notifications. You know, I be dropping bangers. <laughs> Louise Kent, uh, Kearney, those beef empanadas look real good. They look filling too, honey. They were. Stay safe and be blessed, Philly Phil. Thank you. A quick. Hey, Miss Phil, I wanted to ask you something. Okay, what you got to ask me, honey? Have you ever heard of Officer Tommy Norman? He lives in North Little Rock, Arkansas. If you haven't, check him out on Instagram, on his Instagram page. I think it's Tommy Norman. You can see what his mission is all about. He's a really good, really great guy and very, very well known in Arkansas. I was thinking if you reach out to him that he can get the word out about your channel. Check out his Instagram. As always, empanadas look delicious. I do know officer, I mean, I don't know him personally, but I know of him and he worked for the North Florida Police Department. I don't know if he's still an officer, but he's always been great in that community in North Little Rock. Uh, getting to know the people that he actually had to you know like work around work for and serve over there yes I always been good with the children he is a great guy i wish he could share one of my videos i was a uh norman <laughs> tiana pointer hey philly phil good food i do follow him on ig hey philly phil good food in the house uh love the background very bright the sky is the limit god bless you thank you Rolls for you. Your beef empanadas egg rolls look very tasty, Philly Phil. I would definitely be giving this recipe a, a try. Enjoy your evening. Let me know how you like them. I'm telling you, using those egg roll wraps is so much easier. It really is, guys. Lovely K. Trice. I got to make some shrimp egg rolls. Um, delicious. Then you bought out the pickles. My favorite snack, pickles. I like to put the drink mix that you put in your water on my pickles, too. Oh, okay to make a Kool-Aid pickle. By the way, I love your new setup. I can tell a difference, especially the lighting. What you cooking in the kitchen new, Philly Phil? I'm making us some pepper stir fried steak. Vicki Hughes, hey EWPPG. Yummy empanadas, Tuesday, oh my delicious. Marty B, wow Philly Phil, I know they taste good. I can see the meat packed in there. You made 15, that is great. Uh, 
That is great time to be a great time. That is a great time to be your neighbor. <laughs> My nephew, honey. Mama's Mad Ideas. This looks so good. Thank you so much for sharing the recipe in your description. I will be trying this. You're welcome. Anita Carter. Happy, blessed, wonderful Wednesday, Philly Phil. Yes, please do stuffed turkey leg with rice dressing. With dressing and gravy. Or grilled turkey leg with dirty rice. Okay, I'm hungry. Laugh out loud. Okay, you want a, a stuffed turkey leg with some dressing. Oh, I bet that will be good. Uh, she Radiance. Looks looks delicious, Philly Phil. Keep cooking and sipping in the kitchen. You know I will, girl. Thank you so much for that walk. Mm. It made cooking this stir-fried pepper steak so easy. Uh, morning, uh, Sandra Bucks. Morning, Philly Phil. Good morning. <laughs> I see you got them empanadas, crispy egg rolls popping off early. They look so delicious. I had fixed family, I had to fix the family Philly cheese egg rolls. I have to try those. Mm. Toss salad myself for dinner. We all here, we all in here crunching back, laugh out loud. <laughs> Beautiful presentation, thank you. Pearl Otis, hey Philly Phil, how are you this blessed night? I am wonderful, how are you, Pearl? You did it again. Those egg rolls look delicious. Keep cooking in the kitchen. Take care of yourself and be, be safe. Egg roll beef empanadas. Honey, they were good. Penny crude up. What you got to say? Good morning, Philly Phil. Your empanadas look delicious and have the crunch. I have to do the egg roll wrappers because you don't have to. I have to do the egg roll wrappers because you don't have to crimp the edges. That's right. That's a great idea. Keep cooking in the kitchen. Have a blessed day. Yes, it's much easier. <laughs> But I do like my um, Goya wraps as well. Be Sugar 100. Hey, Philly Phil, how you doing? I'm doing good. Oh, it went away. Okay. You know you have it going on in the kitchen. Everything, and I mean everything you make, I want some of. Laugh out loud. Good video. Thanks. Keep them coming, sis. Have a blessed one. You too, you too. Julia Martin, hey Philly Phil, those empanada egg rolls stuffed with meat and sound so crunchy. Would love to have one. I'm gonna have to try the pickles with hot tamales. Sounds good. Love them with peppermints. Me too. Keep on cooking in the kitchen. I am Julia. Uh, Cherise Blank. Yummy, I have to make those. It looks so good. Thank you. Celestine Moore, they look yummy. I baked egg rolls today. I'm going to try pickles with the hot tamale. Let me know what you think, y'all. They're good. Jeanette Piera, EWPPG looks delicious, thank you. Lizzie Hatch, hot tamales, candies, that's my favorite. Yes, used to get them all the time when I take my kids to the dollar movie when they had the dollar movie. We'd always go to Target, get our candy, our dollar boxes of candy, and then we'd buy some popcorn and a pickle in the in the movies. <laughs> and a drink. Well, you know, sometimes us mamas, we take our drinks with us too, honey. <laughs> Don't act like y'all didn't do that too now. I used to take all my nieces and nephews to the dollar movie. Okay, Marty B, laugh out loud. How did you come up with the combination of pickles and hot tamales candies? Love pickles. Haven't had hot tamales in years. I, they're sweet, but they're a little hot too. I don't know, I, and I just like them. <laughs> Space for life, cooking and gardening. So tasty. Thanks for sharing. Stay connected. You know I will. AJL, hey, Philly. Debbie Henderson, you aren't going to believe this. But I got egg roll wrappers today at the store and thought about doing your empanadas in them. I will also do some egg rolls. Love you, girl. Well, honey, you do them. I ain't fluffy. And let me know how they come out. I know they're going to be good. Just season them up real good, okay? All right, guys. Thank you for watching, all right? Is this anyone's first time stopping by the channel? If it is, make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Now drop a comment. Now press that red subscribe button. Press it again so you can see that all button. Press that button. You'll get notifications for all videos, okay? Do that for me. Thank you. All right, you never know where your girl's going to be, what I'll be cooking, what I'll be stir frying in the kitchen, what rice I'll be steaming. You just never know. But one thing you do know, tell them you always welcome. Say, we always welcome in our girl Philly Fields Kitchen, where we be cooking and sipping in the kitchen. All right, guys, you all have a good rest of the Wednesday night. See y'all later. Oh, keep cooking in the kitchen.